She is known for her prolific career as an American film actress, particularly during the 1930s and 1940s. She is recognized for her versatile talent, excelling in both supporting and leading roles in successful films such as Baby Face, Jezebel, and Scarlet Street. Her name is Margaret Lindsay. Margaret Lindsay, a talented American film actress, left an indelible mark on the silver screen during the 1930s and 1940s. Born with a natural flair for acting, Lindsay rose to prominence as a contract player with Warner Brothers. Her supporting roles in hit films like Baby Face, Jezebel, and Scarlet Street showcased her versatile talent and garnered critical acclaim. But it was in the lower-budgeted B-movie films, such as the Ellery Queen series at Columbia in the early 1940s, where Lindsay truly shone as a leading lady. Her captivating performances drew audiences into the stories, making her a beloved figure in the world of cinema. However, it was Lindsay's portrayal of Hepzibah Pynchon in the 1940 film The House of the Seven Gables that is often hailed as her standout career role. Critics praised her ability to bring depth and complexity to the character, solidifying her status as a talented and respected actress. Margaret Lindsay's impact and legacy in the film industry continue to inspire aspiring actors and actresses to this day. Her dedication and skill as an actress left an indelible mark on the golden age of Hollywood, making her a true icon of her time. Margaret Lindsay, born and raised in the United States, had a natural talent for acting. After attending the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York, she decided to broaden her horizons and make her stage debut in England. It was there that she honed her skills and developed a convincing English accent, often leading people to mistake her for being British. Impressing Universal Studios with her talent, Lindsay was signed for their 1932 film, The Old Dark House. However, upon her return to Hollywood, she discovered that another actress had been cast in her role. Undeterred, Lindsay continued to take on minor roles in pre-code films, such as Christopher Strong and Baby Face, alongside renowned actress Barbara Stanwyck. Her breakthrough came when she was cast in the award-winning film Cavalcade by Fox Film Corporation. Lindsay played the role of Edith Harris, a doomed English bride on the ill-fated Titanic. To secure the role, Lindsay went to great lengths, creating an elaborate backstory that portrayed her as a British-born daughter of a London broker. Her dedication paid off, and her performance in Cavalcade earned her a contract with Warner Brothers. At Warner Brothers, Lindsay became a reliable supporting player, working with some of the biggest names in Hollywood, including James Cagney, Betty Davis, and Paul Muni. She starred alongside Cagney in four films, including Frisco Kid and G-Men, and appeared alongside Davis in Fog Over Frisco, Dangerous, Bordertown, and Jezebel. One of Lindsay's notable leading roles at Warner Brothers was in the comedy film The Law in Her Hands. In this male-dominated genre, Lindsay played a mob lawyer, offering a refreshing and unique portrayal of a female character in the legal profession. However, due to the implementation of the Motion Picture Production Code, the film had to adopt a more conservative approach to gender roles, contrasting with the more liberated portrayals of women in the pre-code era. Margaret Lindsay's career in the 1930s showcased her versatility and talent as an actress. From her convincing British accent to her memorable performances alongside Hollywood legends, Lindsay left her mark on the industry. Her dedication to her craft and ability to adapt to changing times allowed her to thrive in an era of great transformation in the film industry. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.